Hello, I'm Rob Marshall of Warren Business Consulting, a specialist learning and development company that helps professionals develop their careers in the oil and gas industry. Today, I want to talk about risks in upstream oil and gas projects. Risks cannot be eliminated. Companies own profits because they take risks, but risks can be managed. And as in any management task, our first step is to identify the problem. To this end, it is helpful to divide risks into the following three categories that cover the most important ones. Geological, contractual and political. We'll start with geological. The classic geological risk is the dry hole, dreading an exploration well and finding no hydrocarbons. Technology has improved a lot over the years, but human judgment still plays an important part in assessing the results of exploration and appraisal. And doing more of this costs money and time. A good manager must understand the geological analysis in order to decide if spending more is justified given the risks. In a later video, I'll explain how we measure this risk. Two concepts are key. The geological chance of success, will the rocks contain hydrocarbons, and the economic chance of success, given the costs of developing and extracting any oil and gas, will the volumes be sufficient to make a profit. Let's move on to cont contractual risk. The first contract in a project is usually the granting instrument, but in any oil and gas project there are a large number of different contracts. Contracting arrangements are particularly complex in this industry for a number of reasons. Companies often work together in a joint venture, so many partners. Development of new facilities requires a vast network of subcontractors and suppliers. Delivery of oil and gas may require connection to infrastructure that's not owned by the joint venture. Taxation may be determined by a special contract and not national laws. Uh, and finally, uh, most operations will be in foreign countries with their own laws and regulations. This brings me to the third area of risk, political, or as it's sometimes called, country risk. Some of the cheapest hydrocarbons in the world, unfortunately, are found in the most politically unstable countries. And this exposes companies to a whole series of risks. For example, you know, will there be a change in government? Will bias in the courts mean that your contracts aren't respected? Social tensions in the country, will they cause protests, strikes that disrupt a project? Could political violence lead to injury, loss of life, damage to facilities? Will a financial crisis lock the country's, uh, company's money in the country? In another video, I will explain how managers can assess these risks when deciding whether to invest in a project. Thank you for watching. For further information about our learning and development programs, please go to our website www.warrenbusinessconsulting.com. Thank you.